it's been so interesting to watch that clip that was a, a question asked by a, a college student go absolutely viral. It has millions of views on the internet. Um, and all it took was a couple of college kids to, to get together and to turn this entire farce of an event um, into a national conversation about the corporate liberal media's uh, disinformation and their bias. I'm Daniel Schmidt. I'm a freshman at the University of Chicago. My question is for Ms. Applebaum. Um, so in 2020, you wrote, those who live outside the Fox News bubble do not, of course, need to learn any of the stuff about Hunter Biden, referring to his laptop, of course. Uh, a poll later after that found that if voters knew about the content of the laptop, 16% of Joe Biden voters would have acted differently. Now, of course, we know a few weeks ago, the New York Times confirmed that the content is real. Do you think the media acted inappropriately when they instantly dismissed uh, Hunter Biden's laptop as Russian disinformation? And what can we learn from that in ensuring that what we label as disinformation is truly disinformation and not reality? I mean, my, my problem with Hunter Biden's laptop is I think it's totally irrelevant. I mean, it's not whether it's disinformation or, I mean, I don't think the Hunter Biden's um, business relationships have anything to do with who should be president of the United States. So I, I, didn't I don't find it to be interesting. I mean, that, that would be my problem with the, that as a, as a major news story. Daniel Schmidt, who's a college reporter um, for the Chicago Thinker, a student publication that I co-founded. And we, we students, we got together, we came to this disinformation uh, event to want to listen, to ask tough questions um, and and to report. And what we discovered is that the event speakers like Ann Applebaum, who's that Atlantic reporter, and Brian Stelter um, and Jonah Goldberg is that they don't actually care about rooting out disinformation because they talked the whole time about taking back power. They said that they need the corporate uh, me mainstream media to take back the gatekeeping power that they had before social media. So social media, you know, it democratized information and the way that they want to take that, uh, to, to uh, take back that power is to give government the ability to have algorithmic control over what we post on the internet. And obviously that is so concerning because, um, we know that what they consider disinformation isn't actually disinformation. It's just information that's inconvenient to them, like the Hunter Biden laptop story. I think one darkly humorous but inevitable uh, measurement of our success is that um, our disinformation conference has been the subject of disinformation campaigns on social media already. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Congratulate yourselves for that. Uh, that, that that's, uh, we'll, we'll study that at next year's disinformation. Uh, uh, yeah. We know that what they consider disinformation isn't actually disinformation. It's just information that's inconvenient to them, like the Hunter Biden laptop story.